Hey guys, Spark here, and I'm playing on my multiplayer server world with one of my buddies who doesn't have a mic yet. He's going to be getting one, and then I'll start recording with him. But uh, I want to kind of show you guys our world, and I'm going to step away from here real quick. Um, let me go ahead and come over here and turn the sound down, because this part's going to be real annoying, and I apologize for that. Okay. So what I have here is I have the same thing that I did for the bridge. I have the one circuit that works in either direction. And we have a hidden door here. Um, the pistons that you hear in the background are one of my greatest achievements in Minecraft. But this is our setup right now, you know. Nothing real spectacular. We got a whole bunch of materials because we've been... Hunting and gathering for a while now. Or at least he has and his brother has. So we, I mean, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. But um, the thing that I'm most excited about to show you is... you see all these items here? Yes. These items. The ones that I just picked up and got like a hundred things. Yeah? Okay. Well, don't hate me for cheating. But we put up some monster spawners just to set up a trap. So we've got a zombie, creeper, and uh, zombie, creeper, and skeleton spawner here. And the water's all the way down there. So you ask, Spark, how, how do you do that? How could you possibly get items that are dropping and coming out here? These guys take forever to die, sometimes. But yes, how, how could you get items that come out there to come out several blocks above it? It doesn't make sense. Well, you're right in most cases, it wouldn't make sense. But, I have devised a system that works. Using pistons. <laughs> and... So let's see here. I'm going to manipulate my inventory so that I can only, or so I can't pick up creeper powder or feathers or arrows for that matter. Okay. So now that I can't pick any of this up, we'll go ahead and follow it. And I'm going to mess this up as soon as I do this. So let me go ahead over here. Oh, I hope I didn't just mess it up. I may have just messed it up. But that would give me an opportunity to show you guys how it's built. So let me come back over here, loop around, and cut that guy off. There we go. Oh, okay. Didn't mess it up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sit here and watch this for a second. So you see how it just goes down for a split second and then rises back up. And it just picks up items and moves them up. So, you know, it's just real short. Let me go ahead and explain this logic down here. Okay, so there's the one going into the piston. So that's the power going into the piston from this circuit here. And it's inverted so that it stays on longer. And this is just a really simple clock. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. And you can switch between nine or ten. It doesn't really matter. The longer you wait, the more items gather up and the more it pushes. Like, I could honestly set this to be like an eight-hour delay. But it comes around here and it goes into one of these monostable circuits. And that's done with the redstone going up here. There's a torch here. Redstone comes down, torch here. And what it does is it this one on top goes faster than this one. So that's what gives it the split second is because it will watch it for a second. But you can see how it inverts the signal and goes back real quick. 
back to the way it should be. When it's receiving a power signal from both of these, it doesn't work. But this one turns on before this. It's milliseconds, but... And then it just goes into this inverter. And you can wire up multiple ones. Like, uh, the last set I had were real close to each other. So, I mean, you could honestly just have it, like, manipulate, like, back and forth real quickly between... Now, it does give this weird appearance over there. You can see it. The water looks like it's going up and, like, flowing upstream. But it's not. It just stops over there. But, there it goes. Punches that up. But, um, yeah. This is my own design. I didn't follow anyone. Someone else may have done it already. I'm not really sure. But, uh, it's a great way to uh, get items from traps that aren't on the same level as you. And... Yeah, I really like it. It's really good. But uh, like I was saying earlier, you can wire multiple of these together. You just need to set this one back one space so that you can have a red wire go there and then just have it go off in another direction. And then it just continue the circuit like normal. Because this doesn't have to be touching that to work. But let me go ahead and jump over there and I can show you guys how that works. Go ahead and close that up. I don't think I can even get through here. Let me go ahead and try that. And yeah, it's it's real hard to get through this. But oh, doesn't look like this part's working real well. So we'll go ahead and jump in here. I think this is. One of the parts that I have multiple set up on. Maybe. Maybe I lie. This one doesn't appear to be working though. And that's... No. See, that's probably why. No, that's not it. It's because it's on the other side that I'm... But, uh, we'll go ahead and troubleshoot this one real quick. He's getting this item this earlier. What? What happened? So we're going to go ahead and punch a hole in the wall. Hum. Go ahead and pick that guy up. This is how you get the circuit going. Just loops around like that. But. Appears to be working now. I don't know what happened. But. Like I said, it appears to be working now. Let's go ahead and block this off so I don't destroy everything with redstone. Or all the redstone. Yep, looks like it's working now. Okay. So we'll go ahead and come continue through this. Oh, close that off, torch down here. But uh, yeah, we'll just kind of follow the stream that I have set up until we get up top, or until the one I want to show off, which actually might be right here, because uh, these ones are real close to each other. So let me jump up here. Yep, this is the one I want to show off. Okay. So this is one that has multiple set up. And like I said, you know, this is, this one goes to this one. This one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here. And like I said, you know, really the only thing that you need here in order to make this work, let me close this off because I'm just going to home point out of here. But, um, see, like I said, this just goes like this, loops around, sets up the signal. Uh, this one goes off to these two, and I mean that's really all you need is just one wire that gives all of them power, and then the clock, because it'll shut off when it doesn't get power. But again, it's just a basic clock. Oh, these are going too fast. That one doesn't, isn't. That should make things a little less annoying here. These ones are right. But, uh, 
something weird about the monostable circuit that I had to set up. Um, both of these are set to their longest delay, or should be set to their longest delay, and this one is not set to a delay. Um, the reason for that is if you do it too quickly, it doesn't catch the signal long enough to actually push down and send back up the piston. But let's go ahead and jump out of here. And this is right where above where we were. And you can see all the items are gathered up here. So let's go ahead and pick up all the items that we have. There's feathers, creeper powder, arrows. But yeah, I mean, I think the problem here is I'm too far away from it right now. But really, that's just a matter of me running some water with them not just dying. That could be that too. But uh, I plan on implementing this in my single player server or on my single player world. But uh, it's a really nifty idea. I think there's a lot of uses for it. And I don't think I've tapped the potential yet. So with that, I will say if you guys can find a better use for it, let me know. Or if you think of something that would be sweet to do with it, let me know. But uh, for now, this is what I thought about. Seems to work pretty good. But, uh, it's like 1.20. I've got to get up tomorrow morning at 8. So, I'm going to go to bed. Oh, and if you were curious about this, like I said, the bridges are exactly what I set up before. It's, this is the signal here. Um, it's set up a little differently looking. Um, it's a little bit more space manageable here. Um, again, you have to make sure that you have 15 blocks between here and here so that it doesn't receive power all the time. But, um, no matter what signal you give it, this one goes out to the one up there, this one goes to the top pistons, this one goes down to the bottom pistons. But, uh, as long as you give it signal from anything, it works perfectly. So, you know, that's the thing that I was concerned about. So we can come out here and just be like, yeah. Oh, creeper. <laughs> yep. Oh, creeper. But uh, let's go ahead and back inside before I blow up any more of this world. Um, <laughs> but it's hidden, so if someone gets on that I'm not familiar with, spawn is set outside. Um, home point's set in here. So, again, you know, they can't really... Or they don't really know it's here except for the large amount of torches outside. But this is something neat. I thought I'd show you guys a way to get uh, items that are below your surface. And like I said, you can do as many as you want. You could actually set it up in like a spiral staircase almost. And just have pistons run wired. And just have one circuit running it all at bedrock. I think that would work. You can just do that to make a little elevator all the way up real quickly. But uh... I haven't seen anyone else do this, and I'm real excited to be the first one to post it, I hope. So, thank you guys for watching. You know, if you haven't subscribed to me, please do. I'm a pretty cool person, I think. Um, and hopefully when I find out more stuff, I can let you guys know. And if you like it, please leave a rating. And comments below are nice, because I like to see what people are saying. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.